Black Diamond Car Audio Amplifiers. We have tested one of these before. In fact, we tested the 2550.1D a while back, which is really not a 2500 watt amp, but it was kind of surprising. So today we have a different one. We actually have a 2500 watt amplifier. This is a true 2500 watt model, the P2500X1D on Amazon retails for $369.99 at the time of this video. It comes with the manual here that covers several different models. The P series is their professional line. It comes with Allen's keys and a couple of screws. Here's the base knob. I'm not real sure why the Pro model comes with a cheap plasticky base knob with uh, no LED clipping or anything. And also the phone style connection here for the base knob so it does stay into the base knob well. On the amp itself you can see the remote connection here on the left, left and right input, base selection for 0, 6 or 12 dB, gain control, low pass filter from 50 to 220, subsonic from 0 to 50 hertz. On the opposite side 1 0 for the power and ground we have the remote and then we have the dual speaker outputs. This is a monoblock amp but it does have two terminals so you can hook up to speakers, which is nice. The extra exterior of the amp looks nice, has this raised lettering for black diamond. Power output is specified 4 ohms 900 watts, 2 ohms 1600 watts, 1 ohm 2500 watts. Those are all RMS numbers, no provided voltage. As far as the dimensions, 21.2 inches long, 6.2 inches wide by 2 inches tall. Now let's fire up the good old SMD Demore Engineering Amplifier Dyno to do our RMS power output testing of this amplifier. Before we do that, make sure you check the video description for links to Wilson Audio merch, smash me a thumbs up, and subscribe if you like this content. More like it coming all the time. Now let's talk about the Dyno tests. There's three different tests, certified, uncertified, and dynamic. Certified test takes us up to 1% THD. Uncertified takes us up to the clipping point, And dynamic is a dynamic tone mimicking IHF 202 standard. First up, we'll try the amp at 4 ohms, rated 900 watts. We think at 14.4 volts. Let's try the certified test first, up to 1% THD. 962 watts, the voltage is a little bit higher, 14.99. So we should be able to get that 900 watts at 14.4. Uncertified takes us up to the clipping point, 40 hertz tone, and here you go, over 1,000, 1,011, 14.93. Now we'll set the amp dyno here for the dynamic test. This sends a pulse tone of 40 hertz into the amp. Test out the dynamic capability, 1,024, 15.09. Efficiency wise, 84%. Four ohms, we like to generally see that a little higher over 90%, but that's not horrible. Two ohms, the amp is rated 1600 watts. Let's try the certified test as always first. And yep, we get that number 1643. Again, our voltage is just a little bit higher, 14.8. Uncertified run here. You can see we get considerably more than rated. 1,764 watts at 14.79. And of course, finally here for the two ohm test, we will do the dynamic burst to check out the dynamic capability. This amp does have some dynamic capability, 1,910 watts, right at 15 volts. As far as efficiency, we measured 85%, which is a good number at two ohms. Now let's try the one ohm test. This is where the amp is rated 2,500 watts. Can we get it certified? Yes, we do. 2,579 at 14.74. Let's try this uncertified up to clipping. And here you go, over 2,800, 2,845 at 14 and a half volts. Dynamic burst. Can we get over 3K? Yes, we can. Ooh, check out that big jump there at the end. 32, no, 3335, 14.92. So at 14.4, you should be able to get this number easily. Efficiency 70.6%, which is not great at one ohm. We'd like to see 75% or higher. Results, yeah, we got rated power. 
You can see the results here. Even at 8 ohms, we got 545 watts certified. If you like to see the 0.8 ohm, you have to stay tuned to the very end of the video after the credits. Now, what about what's inside? Let's take the screws off the bottom. There is a little protective sticker on the bottom here. So if you take this off, they won't warranty the amp. But in this case, Black Diamond did send me this amp, but you guys know that doesn't mean I'm giving them special treatment. Here is the insides. You can see the four large filter caps there for the output. Let's take a look here. For the power supply section, it has four small transformers and eight filter caps. So two for each transformer. These are 20, 2200 microfarad, 25 volt filter caps. For the rails, we have 3300 microfarad, 120 volt caps. So those are nice size there. The good stuff, it did rated power, has 10 inputs, which it's separated enough so you can use dual inputs, variable subsonic control, dual speaker outputs, even though it is a monoblock amp, that helps if you have two speakers or if you have a dual voice coil subwoofer. Things could be better. The bass remote, cheap plastic, doesn't have any kind of indicators on it at all. Standard RCA jacks, the efficiency could be a little better, in my opinion. The price, this is kind of priced in the mid, Line, I would say it's not a high end, it's not a low end. So, you know, it has to have some special sauce here. I'm not really seeing that. The low ohm operation, you'll have to stay tuned to the end to see what I mean by that. Now, if you're into car audio amplifier test, home amplifier test, mini amp test, make sure you check the video description, check the links at the end for more videos. As I have over 600 videos, lots of content, lots of cool things to watch. Thanks as always to my patrons for supporting me. Thank you for watching. Until next time, Big D, I'm out of here. Not rated to handle 0.8, but let's try it anyway. All right, 28.82. At 14.6 volts. All right, now we will try uncertified up to clipping 40 hertz, 0.8. All right, okay, it went in to protect 31.47. At 14.42. And I'm going to show you, not changing anything, that it did go into protect. But let's cycle it off. And back on. Okay, came out of protect, so that's good. All right, now we're going to try 0.8 dynamic burst, 40 hertz, with the black diamond. 2500 watt amp. Let's see what it does. Protect. Protect immediately. Again, I'm going to show you. There's protect. So that's fine as long as we turn it off, turn it back on, it's out of protect. So it is protecting the amp just like it should do. Okay.